Hello, Lola's. So welcome back to my channel, guys. Please make sure that you are subscribed by clicking the red subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, if you leave me a comment, I read all my comments. And if I don't reply in the comment section, um, which I try to, try to do within a couple days, I do um, usually respond via video. Um, so, a lot of people have been requesting to see these boys together. This is Willow Asleep and Willow Awake by Claire Teller um, Dolls. And I know a lot of people are really excited this morning and some people are very nervous. I've gotten a lot of emails from different people about, you know, their emotions high because it is the big day. The Willow Awake um, by Claire Teller will be going up for sale at noon today, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And, um... So a lot of people want to see the babies and I, I do the same thing when I'm expecting a baby or trying to go after a baby. So I'm going to show them together. They, Like I said, they have the same body, just different. Um, one is awake and one is asleep. There's a little bit of difference, of course, because when someone's eyes is open, it doesn't look the same as when it's asleep. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> so are they, they are the, the very soft um, silicone. Um, and they have armatures in their arms. So hopefully, 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 let me see. I don't lose too much light with these babies when I step here. I'm going to put him in a similar top, just a solid top. And um, same a diaper out of the same um, bag as the pack. Is it? Look at him. Noah's like knocked out. But yeah, so see, they have the same, same hands, <laughs> same hands, the same hands here, same feet, his feet is with his socks on, so, but let's go ahead and start getting him undressed, Noah, <laughs> let's go ahead and start getting him undressed, um, again, um, just a few, you know, care tips. You know, it's very good, very, very important that you handle all your, your babies like they're really real babies. You know, gentle with care. Um, like I said before, I've seen where people um, mishandle the dolls and stuff. And, and even just as a blank kit, the, the kit costs so much. You know the you know the dolls cost so much. You just don't want to manhandle them because um, it's an investment. Um, that's why I'm very careful, like who I send my babies to for painting and you know rooting and all that great jazz. Because you know you just want to make sure that it's not somebody that's going to sit there and play with your doll and 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 tear, try to tear your doll up. And stuff like that while you are um, expecting them to just you know paint root or whatever service they are providing um, but also I just wanted to put it out there because a lot of people have contacted me yesterday about painting their willow awake if they get if they end up getting one, um, I'd already when we knew that they were come that willow the willows were coming, I'd already told several people that I would paint for them. Um, since then, my 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 mindset on doing customs has changed. But the people that I did tell that I would paint for them, um, I have not. I'm not going back on my word. Um, I will. I I am still. Looking forward to painting their willows um, if they are able to capture one. And see, they have the same. It's the same. Say same, same. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited about that. As you guys know, I I painted one willow asleep, which is now Casein, and he's just absolutely. He came out really good. I love the way that the the silicone painted. It was such an easy paint um, for me. And um, the coloring of the, the silicone itself definitely helped 
um, help me, you know, get the colors that I was trying to, to get on that baby. Um, I usually paint from a Caucasian kit um, just because I mix my own colors in my vinyl and I also mix my own colors in silicone. I, I don't paint by a number or, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I use, you know, primary colors to come up with, you know, the colors that I use. And so starting from a white kit is usually easier for me because I don't have to try to offset um, the other color of, you know, these other color mixes that the artist may come up with painting other, you know, doing the other um, silicone. So anyway, um, sorry, I just woke up and I said, let me do this. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but his hair is dry from where I did it and it just stayed exactly the same. And that's just with water. So, um, that's the other thing. I, I really, really love that. So these, these are both prototypes. This is prototype. This is prototype number two, right? Are you number two? Yes. This is prototype number two of the sleep, and this is prototype number three of the awake. So, um, and again, his movement is the same as his. They're both, you know, the 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 soft, soft babies. I think, um, and of course, you know, because. Is poured in one piece you know you want to support the head however you know if it miss and jingle or something like that it'll be okay like I said I've seen people be extremely rough and the one thing that I was impressed with is that the silicone still um, looked realistic and the silicone still um, did not tear or rip or fall apart at least from what I could see um, so that means the silicone is very durable, um, more durable than what others say, at least, um, I could say that about clear teller silicone. Um, so I, you know, a lot of times, um, we allow people to get in our heads, but you gotta, um, like I said, you gotta keep in mind everybody motives and intentions are not meant to help you and I say that all the time they're really not meant to help you but um, I love I love 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 these babies and I am definitely going to um, put out for a a girl try to go for a girl um, but I'm not worried if I don't get one. I'm sure one of the mommies that I had told I would paint for them will end up with one. At least one of them should, hopefully, I hope, um, end up with them. But, yeah, I, I've only painted from three different sculptors and three different, um, three different, three different, um, silicone kits and they all were um, poor very smooth the silicone was different for all of them um, two of them was pretty nice um, the I always forget where the buttons go um, or where the snaps are the uh, the last little one, my Lola, her silicone is, uh, took paint, um, uh, much easier than the one before that. And then, um, I'm sorry, that was four. Was that number four? No, I just painted number four, right? Wait, Lola, Lydia, Kaysen, and Serena. Okay, yeah, so four. I've painted four. And I, all four of them are different shades. Um, so, you know, I just I just really enjoy the silicone. I, I enjoy painting both. I'm working on finishing up uh, 
a special project um, and then that's vinyl and then I'm working on vinyl but I'll be working on silicone probably this upcoming week or so so um, again so it's gonna be nice I, I like the painting the silicone because you don't have to um, you don't have to go through the whole bake process and um, I don't know, like while that the silicone is curing, I can do other other things. Like I can um, work on my reborns in between or I haven't got to the point where I can concentrate on multiple silicone babies at the same time, but I can work on reborns and silicone in between. There are two different tables because you can't mix the two and stuff like that. But But yeah, so... I'm excited guys I, I I really am because I wanted um I wanted a, a girl in the awake originally but I am such a boy baby fan until I just had to have this as as a boy but if I could have got a girl I would have got a girl too so now it's like okay I will paint my own girl um, out of all the sculpts that I've collected uh, Willow has been my favorite by far um, and you can go back and look at some of my previous videos sometime you know I'll tell you guys I I love love the baby you know but it don't always be my favorite <clears throat> But this this sculpt I really love. So I, I do plan on having a girl too. And I know a lot of people are like, oh that's crazy to have three sculpts. And I would normally say that too. But this time, mm-mm. Cause I had said to myself, if I get I had one of the Gabby Gill again, um, the silicone version, because I I was missing Lizzie. But I said if I get one of these I don't, I don't need the the Gabby Gill anymore because, um, there's only certain ones in the edition that I had wanted, but <clears throat> but the size on these is so it's a good size and it's you know it's just like fun dressing them and they feel so good when you hold them like the weight of them. Um, is nice, but it's not like extremely heavy. I felt some silicone babies that's like it feels like you feel every pound, every ounce. It's like really heavy, but these are not. They're not overly heavy, so yeah, I'm just enjoying them, enjoying them, yeah, enjoying my friends sharing um, some of the babies. I'm just, it's just been fun. So, I'm just glad that I can enjoy my hobby right now and not um, spend so much time, you know, being miserable and um, worrying about, you know, every little thing that happens in the community because that's not what I came here for. I'm not a counsel. I'm not the jury. I'm not the judge. You know, I... I want to paint, sell some of my babies here and there, and collect my babies. Um, I'm still expecting a few more babies to come in, and I'm excited about that. But these, say, look at me, mama. So basically, so basically, look at them. It's like a few subtle changes, like to the when you look at their face, that makes them um, have their own personality. But like I said, when you're dealing with a real sculptor, they don't have to like 
recopy their molds, they just can re-sculpt it. And I, I believe that um, Clear re-sculpted his, his face to be almost the same as um, the Willow asleep, but his eyes and stuff like that and eyelids and stuff is really, you know what I mean? You, I've seen people open up eyes and just have a slit and it, you know, it looks a little different, but he's, he's actually sculpted his, see, I'm really, see, I'm really a cutie booty. And they got their little, little button noses. So yeah, but these are my boys. The little belly buttons. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them together. I cannot, in the chatter box, I did hold both of them in a video. Um, together and I have not mastered that yet. I have not shopped because um this little this little guy been here. This little guy was unexpected. It was a you know spare you know spontaneous purchase so to speak and so I have not shopped for them to be twins yet. Um you know to, to wear a lot of twin stuff so basically you know, I have a few things, but that will work for twins, but I don't, I haven't shopped for twin outfits yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to start when I get a chance right now. I am focused on these orders that I have that I need to complete. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys in a bit.